just a scene from hell here. All the vehicles on fire. Modern warfare comes live and direct from the world's battlefields into our homes. This is going to be a big bang. Today's war correspondents have an armory of broadcast technology that travels with them into the field. They've been developing the tools of their trade since their profession was born. Okay, you may move. Thank you. And they've brought us the drama and the action. The courage of the people, the flash and roar of the guns rolling down the streets. And they've competed to send news from the combat zone ahead of their rivals. The sky over Baghdad is black. Come this way, Khan. This is the story of the relationship between war reporters and technology that has been going on for over 150 years. John, I'm on the major east-west highway here that bisects across the West Bank and leads down to the Jordan Valley. The reporter may look calm and collected on screen, but behind the scenes, reporting live from a conflict zone can be a frantic affair. Beyond the white truck, that is where the suicide bomber detonated his device just a little under two hours ago now. From the first moment when you get that phone call, you have to go, and it's a question of what have you got with you and what do you need to be able to do the job. It's an ordinary day in Jerusalem for CNN's senior international correspondent, Sheila McVicker. Two suicide bombs have exploded, two people are dead, and the pressure is on to file a live report. But they're having problems with a satellite truck. Okay, we ready? You've got people there on the scene trying to talk to you. You've got, I've got producers, camera crew trying to talk to me. We had a problem with the truck. We couldn't get the satellite link established and we're coming down to the point where Atlanta wants to see us. For Sheila's report to be seen around the globe, it must first get to CNN's headquarters in Atlanta. If the satellite won't work, there's no report. They came up, they've gone down, he's freaking. We're exactly setting the line up. Mike, Mike, Mike! There is a producer in the control room in Atlanta who will say, OK, you're, we're coming to you in a minute and a half or two minutes. OK, they're seeing us, but we are freezing. We're yelling at the truck, you know, come on, come on, come on, what's the problem, what's the problem, is the problem here, is the problem in Atlanta? You speak to satellites and you tell them that if it goes black, you're going to kick his ass. Something. Excuse me? Live, 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 live. Thank you. The drama is that I'm live, I'm there, it's happening now. That's where the energy comes from out of that kind of reporting. Sorry, I'm getting in the shade. <laughs> Sheila McVicker represents the dream that war reporters have aspired to for nearly 200 years. It's live, it's on the spot, and it's on our screens at the flick of a switch. In 1861, things were very different. When the American Civil War began, photography was only 35 years old. Okay, gentlemen, here we go, perfectly still. Things are up now, very proud. Photographers came from far and wide to record the country at war.